I present to you the Uvalizer. Um, all right, guys, so what's going on? So today we are doing a test on the Uvalizer. And for those of you that don't have any idea what that is, it is a UV bulb, this guy right here, that is designed, it's UVC. Um, there's multiple different types of UV light, right? So this is UVC. Uh, it's actually very, um, how you put this, harmful. So you can't have any human living thing, <laughs> any, any person, uh, a pet, um, no plants can be in the room uh, because it says that pretty much UVC pretty much breaks things down. Um, so obviously this whole, I'm not going to be in a room, a pet's not going to be in a room, but I want to know what happens. What if you leave a plant in the room, does it actually kill the plant? Um, it's supposed to. We'll see if it does anything. Um, so pretty much the UV light has 15 set or a 15 minute, a 30 minute or 60 minute time setting on it. We're just gonna do a 15 minute run here. Uh, I use this light to disinfect the house. Um, there is a an ozone smell that is emitted from this thing. It smells so I don't know if you know what ozone smells like, but the best way to put it is it stinks really bad. Uh, to me, some people act like it's no big deal, but it's pretty pretty nasty. Uh, hospitals use this exact same thing, um, the same bulbs, everything like that. So, all kinds of research. It's supposed to work. Kills all kinds of stuff. So it says it kills 99.99% of pretty much everything, all viruses, anything like that. So, we're gonna set this guy up. I'm gonna leave the room for 15 minutes. I'm gonna put this just like that hitting the actual plant itself and uh, we'll see if it starts wilting, if it starts browning, I don't know. I have no idea what's going to happen. Will it even happen within 15 minutes or will it end up being like an hour later all of a sudden we're going to see the effects of it? We will find out. So after the 15 minute time span, I have to sit out of the room for 40 minutes. Ozone, pretty much according to this guy right here, if you're reading instructions, it pretty much depletes the oxygen. Uh, in the room also. So the ozone is, is fine for you, except for the fact that you gotta wait for it to really clear out. The smell, it takes about 40 minutes, it says. Um, typically, I'll run in here, open up a window, cause again, it stinks. When it gets sucked into your home return and it goes through the house, it, it takes, for my house, being super tight, it's a couple hours for that smell to get out of here. But, let's just get started. I'm gonna set you up facing, the, facing this, uh, and we'll see what happens. So there is a 30 second timer. When I hit this button, I'll turn it on and I'm gonna set it for 15 minutes. Uh, let's see here. 15 minutes is set. So you'll hear it beeping in a second. So you hear it beeping. So that's saying get out of the room because I'm getting ready to turn on. So I'm gonna get out of here and I'll be back in about an hour. Okay, so it doesn't appear that in 15 minute time span, anything was done on the plant. Um, so we're gonna do another 15 minute, and again, it may be something that we'll see like in 24 hours if anything changes on the plant. But I read somewhere that a banana can show the UV uh, damage um, a lot faster. So we're gonna take some electrical tape, and we're gonna wrap it kinda like a candy cane, and <laughs> Hopefully in 15 minutes, when we unwrap the banana at that, you see stripes. Hopefully it browns it out. So we're going to set it up again, and we'll see this time. <laughs> so really fast. Let's take the banana. All right. Just like that. See the banana? It's yellow right now. So we'll set it just like that. Plug in our light. Let's take the plant, put it on that side. All right, turn it on. 15 minutes. Let's let it start beeping. Okay, we're beeping. Uh, we're gonna get out of here. Okay, so it's been another 15 minutes. <clears throat> Let's see if anything happened to our banana. Ready? Oh, we finally have something. <laughs> yep, 
Y'all see that? Well, you can definitely tell with a bulb, with a light hit it. <laughs> Alright, so again, uh, not much has happened on the plant. Um, but we'll give it a day, whatever. We'll see if anything happens to it. I do have a, another one. This, So it is a strawberry plant. I have two of them. This was one. I got my, con my control upstairs. That way, we'll see if this one starts dying compared to the one that's upstairs. Um, but as for the banana, it did 100% sh show that the light does something. It's always one of those things like, does it actually work or not? Um, they have been tested with like those petri dishes and all that stuff in labs um, and hospitals, like I said, use these. So I'm gonna say it absolutely does help for viruses and all that stuff. But as a homeowner, as you and I buy these things, we want to know, we just turn them on and we come back and it's almost like, oh yeah, nothing changed, but it stinks in here now. So at least <laughs> it does do something. It's not a standard light bulb. Um, the, the UV that comes off lights are, are not the UVC. Um, apparently from what I read, only the UVC will do this to the banana. Um, but uh, guys, we're gonna continue to monitor the plant here. Um, if anything changes with it, I'll add it to the video. All right guys, so it's been like probably right around 20 hours. And uh, I wanna show you the plant. Uh, there has been some updates and improvements here. Um, so let's take a look. Okay, so take a look here. This was nice and green yesterday, just like this guy. But look, he's curling up and getting actually pretty dark on the leaves right here. Um, now you gotta remember I had this thing originally directly like that. So these were the leaves getting directly hit by the light. Um, I mean, there, there's definite, uh, discoloration and I would say, I don't know if it's dying, but it definitely harmed it. If you would like, share, subscribe, and we'll see ya.